Hi, Charles here, uh, playing a little Kerbal Space Program, and I'm going to do an update on the Shack Station. Uh, we've had five players uh, build parts, not all of them uh, could make videos, so I'm going to show off uh, what has been done on the Shack Station. Let's uh, fly to the Shack Station. It's uh, gotten pretty big, so this is going to load a little slow and be pretty uh, low frame rate, but uh, let's uh, turn off the lights here. It might help. Alright, we got the... Uh, woo. Got the core here, which is the orange tank and uh, these four arms. And uh, attached to the bottom of it, we have this... Uh, Supposed to be a science station here with some solar panels and, and tubes going around kind of in a square. On the other side, um, <coughs> we have a set of missiles here with little mech jebs on them so they can uh, target a particular location on the ground and hit it with uh, some pretty good accuracy. On this side here, uh, looks like we have a set of four escape pods. Uh, little hitchhiker capsules uh, it's got some RCS on it and lights little docking ports and uh, parachute uh, it's RCS at the top actually I'm not sure if they're escape pods or what they are on the other side uh, we have a set of probes here uh, maybe the lights would help here they got little probe engines and a little fuel tank and uh, solar panels and apparently you can send them off on uh, different missions. Uh, so that's uh, what the station looks like currently. I'm going to launch a module and dock it with the station and uh, let's go do that now. Okay, uh, this is my ship called the Galaxy Explorer 3 once it loads in. It's uh, almost 600 parts, and it's pretty huge. And, uh, really big launch vehicle, uh, but the main ship here is the center part. It's, uh, well, we got a lander up top, and then, uh, Four orange fuel tanks with nine nuclear engines, and uh, I've taken this and landed it on Duna, so it's possible to do that. And I believe it's possible to fly back. I haven't actually done that. The Kerbals are still off on their mission uh, exploring the surface, uh, but this will get up into space, and then the nuclear engines will basically get you anywhere in the solar system. Uh, the lander will get you down to any planet with an atmosphere and probably a lot that doesn't have an atmosphere I'm just not sure uh, maybe some of the higher gravity uh, moons of Jewel you may not be able to leave from uh, but basically the uh, part with the uh, orange fuel tanks uh, is run by probes and that's left in orbit you land with the top lander part and then you come back up uh, you dock again with the uh, probe section and uh, you can leave the rest of the lander there in orbit and then fly back with the probe on the nuclear engines and you should be able to reach as I said before any planet and come back the only thing is that the lander doesn't really have that much fuel so uh, taking off again may be a problem on some of the higher gravity uh, moons but uh, let's dock this up with the space station and uh, see how that goes.
Alrighty, here we are. Um, let's check. Alright, we're gonna be uh, kind of far behind the station. Let's, uh, let's fast forward time a bit so the station's uh, in a bit more of a favorable location. I think something like that's uh, pretty good. Alrighty. Uh, uh, move the camera back here so you can get a whole picture of the launch. And uh, let's turn on SAS, throttle up. For the first stage, I don't like to have the throttle all the way up, but uh, see, that seems to work out pretty good with this. Uh, Ship have it ringing uh, right about the top of the T. All right, so let's launch in three, two, one, blast. <laughs> uh, this ship is uh, your standard uh, onion or uh, asparagus arrangement. Outer, the fuel tanks in the outer are powering all the engines, and then as they drain, you drop them off, and the next layer goes. You see, we're draining a lot of fuel real quickly, over a thousand units a second at the start here. And that's uh, not even a full throttle. Uh, the first set of fuel tanks here should last us at least to uh, 5,000 feet. gonna be way out in front. Alright, so I'll uh, aim a little high. Down 
come to our last lifting stage. And that should be good for an altitude. Um, let's turn on our RCS. Got a little bit of a spin here, but... Uh, Hopefully that won't be too much of a trouble. Let's plan our orbital maneuver. Something like that. And uh, looks like we should start it with maybe a minute and ten to go or so. burn in uh, a few seconds here three two one for those engines.
right, we got a pretty good intersect uh, in about 20 minutes. Is that this? No, that's the uh, engines we dropped. Yeah, the station's uh, probably too far to see right now. It'll be uh, beyond those engines. It's uh, gonna place maneuver right near where the intercept is, so I get a little countdown. Uh, actually. Something like that's probably good. And uh, so we got 19 minutes, let's fast forward. Um, after pointing in uh, roughly the direction we're gonna need to uh, slow down in. Alrighty, let's fast forward. Alrighty, 49 seconds away, and the station should be under us, oh, there it is, we uh, basically uh, at this point uh, really want to kill our relative velocity. So I don't think that uh, target reticule is in the right spot. And why am I spinning all... Oh. Alright, the station is loading in. Our frame rate is going to go to crap right now. And... Uh, Uh, we basically have stopped our relative velocity and now I want to point at the station and uh, accelerate towards it that will uh, close our distance let's uh, get rid of uh, this maneuver and we can see the orbits are pretty much lined up
All right, about 15 meters per second seems uh, good to me. We'll uh, check the map, see uh, where our next intercept is. Oh, pretty close. About a minute away. So we want to get this thing uh, flipped around. RCS helps. And I probably want to stop uh, maybe like 200, 250 meters away and uh, go in on RCS from there. This is going to be uh, pretty choppy. I'm down to five frames a second right now. Uh, so we want to be careful and take it easy. Oh, well, I'll do it in a minute, but I uh, forgot to extend the solar panels that this has. Maybe I can do that after we dock. We have plenty of, uh, plenty of electric charges. A uh, few big batteries on here. Alrighty. Drifting off a little, but uh, all right, 300 away. Let's start slowing down. Three meters per second is uh, pretty good. Seems like a good RCS controllable speed. Um, yeah, Let's get this down to three point oh. Yeah. Maybe two or three seconds per tenth of a meter per second. It's not too bad. All right, uh, the way we're coming in, I'm probably gonna aim for uh, the science station. There's a bunch of docking ports on there. Uh, currently, there's no docking ports down the center line. That would have been nice, because uh, then I could have uh, used the rockets on this to reposition the whole station. Uh, but that'll be a uh, future project. Uh, we'll just try to dock for now. Alright, we're gonna, looks like we're gonna come past the bottom of this. It's, uh, overall, I heard Chase Cam is nice for looking on your spacecraft and seeing his flight path. Yeah, we're gonna just come down past the bottom. If I can slow down uh, as we pass it and then uh, orient and dock, that would be terrific. So, slow down a bit more. Maybe two meter a second or so. Mm, it's getting a little dangerous. Yeah, um, he 
did change the way uh, RCS works and trying to tilt this or trying to translate also happens to rotate now. So that's uh, going to make matters a little more complicated. We gotta flip around anyway, so let's do that now. Probably got rotating too fast. Just feels like it takes forever when the frame rate is this low. Can I set that as well? We're going past that. Let's uh, set the docking port over here as our target. Seems a little more doable at the moment. shield and, uh, why is that the opposite of what I want to do Spinning out of control here. Alright, we've basically stopped moving relative to the space station. I just need to point towards that docking port now. Um, but that's a little easier said than done at this point. Uh, but luckily, uh, well, since I stopped moving, we have a lot of time. <laughs> to get pointed in the correct direction and then uh, start moving again and this is a big ship and it doesn't want to spin easy a lot of fuel on board down to four frames a second Uh, 
about 90 degrees left in this turn. Trying to point at the pink circle, which is the direction of the docking port. And uh, oh, there, there it is. It's like we're moving almost directly away from it. Come on. You're, are you rotating faster in the direction I don't want to go in? Yeah. Eh, the inverted uh, vertical always gets me. Go into the controls and change that. <clears throat> All right, uh, yeah, they're coming back here. Slow down, slow down, slow down. And we're gonna pass it again. Not too bad. start going forward and that should bring our velocity pretty much yeah all right now we're headed towards Back up, back up, back up, back up, back slow. We're gonna hit, and we got a lot of momentum here. All right, we're moving away, and I can't tell which way I'm turning again. Yeah, part of the problem with this ship is also uh, because it's uh, three-way symmetry. Up, down, left, right always isn't the same strength of turning as. All right, we're we're way off in a few dimensions here. Nope. Um, not really either. Yeah, I kind of want to move this way, but this will probably wind up rotating us. All right, let's uh, try the chase cam and. Uh, Maybe this will hold our direction as we try to translate. Alright, this is still our target. Get out of the way. Um,
Okay, I'm trying to slide to the left currently. And let's turn on some lights. I need to back up. backing up pretty good we're sliding to the left decently um, need to rotate a bit you see the pink dot is sliding over which is exactly what I want it's uh, I think that's good on the rotation. You don't need to slide back anymore. All right. Um, let's. Okay, um, we also seem to be a bit high, so let's find the, yeah, that's the correct way to thrust for that. Theory, you need to line up your velocity vector, your direction you're pointing, and the direction to the station all at once. And uh, oh, not M K. We're yeah, we're dropping way too quick. Let's slow that down. Get our velocity vector. Trying to point at the port now. Alright. Uh, I think we're doing pretty good for the pointing at the port part. Nope, no, that's down, up, up. We want to go up. Well, we were good at pointing at the port, but we're... No, we're coming back. How's that magnetism?
just about docked. S trying to dock. Come on. What if I uh, turn on SAS? Maybe not. Let's turn SAS off. Looks like we're slightly crooked here. Um, that's gonna kick the nose in the wrong direction though. Um, Practically docked. Why don't we? Uh... Extend the solar panels and Forgot to set the ones down here on an action group that's okay, they're not that bad to get. off a little. Yeah, it seems to have helped. I think we straightened up a bit. Let's try that again. Dock. Yeah, you can see the whole station is kind of twisting relative to us.
Sims Streeter, I think. Okay, I think we docked. Yes, we have docked. We are a single space station orbiting our uh, let's see our apoapsis about 151. Periapsis is 497. So about a 1.3 uh, kilometers between them, which is uh, pretty darn close to circular. Got another part on the shack station. Uh, maybe we can move it to another docking port at another point. Maybe use it to uh, increase the orbit. Who knows? Uh, it's been fun, and thanks for watching. See you guys uh, next time.